Hey guys, it's Thomas with Southern Outdoors NC. Uh, gonna be talking about something today that uh, every angler has to has to do. Uh, I, for one, am a multi-species angler. Uh, I fish a lot of different ways, um, a lot of different places. Um, so, you know, I got to keep my tackle organized where I can go from one thing to another real quick. I'm trying to fish from a going from a kayak to a boat, which is salt water, fresh water, from a from a John boat back to I mean just back and forth constantly all the time. So I gotta come up with a way to simplify my 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 fishing tackle. All right, guys, this right here is what I'm dealing with. This right here is what I got to organize all my plastics. Um, not so much terminal tackle. I mean, that's 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 pretty good shape. My plastics. I've got swim baits. I've got I got crawfish, power crawls. I got lizards. I mean, I've got all kinds of mess here. I've got to get organized, and I think the the way I'm going to do it is with these little containers right here. Uh, these are I bought at Walmart, and you can see the size of them here. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to get all this stuff organized. I'm gonna put all the swim baits with swim baits, you know, and and lizards and worms and and all this stuff. Stuff is gonna be all organized. I'm gonna put it in these containers. I'm gonna take a sharpie, black sharpie, and and label what they are. Uh, so here we go. I've got some new baits here I, I'm gonna try soon. Um, I, I bought some from Deep Creek Lures. Uh, I think will be I think will be good. Um, bought the Razor Beetle, the five inch sink and catch watermelon red flake. Another Razor Razor Beetle uh, in green pumpkin. I think that'll be good. Five inch floating catch June bug. I think those would be good. Like if, uh, if I want to use it, if I want to use that for a drop shot or something like that, or just a floating rig of some kind. I like using floating rigs. bought these today guys going out of business uh, they've been on the shelf a while you can tell you can tell by that uh, I want to try them I really like this salt and pepper color it works good and a couple lakes I fish in early spring so I bought these and uh, the zoom I found two more packs salt and pepper you can't buy these anymore. You can't buy those anymore. So I bought two packs of those. I bought all I had. Anything that I can use on a on a on a jig, um, or use by itself as you know, like a Texas rig. Like a jig type thing, like these uh, beetles. Um, these right here, I put on spinner bait or, or you know, a jig or whatever. I will put these in this container. So, well, I found another container, but it's got all my trick worms in it. So, I like fishing my trick worms. My favorite koa trick worm is watermelon. Uh, is watermelon seed? Uh, they work good. I like those, and I like the white. White works real good. So now I still need another one. I'm gonna go through and label all these things now. 
all these containers. This one right here has got my salt water stuff in it. It's got all my gulp, uh, salty bay bait stuff. Are you talking about stink? God, these things stink. I'm talking about putting out some smell now. These are, yeah, Pappy's baits. That's what those are. I uh, hadn't caught anything with them yet. I've had some hits, but I hadn't caught anything with me. I hadn't really given them a chance on a jig. I hadn't really been in a good place to use a, use a, uh, a bucktail jig. But I'm sure they'll work. Some white four inch uh, shrimp. A salty bay. And of course you got your procure, procure shrimp. The only thing I got left is my crawfish. And I'll just add those with my with this right here, with my worms for right now. Like I said, I got a lot more than the worms in this, but these right here are the ones I use most of the time. That's how I got it organized, guys. So I can put whatever I want to use. I can just grab it. I can grab the whole thing. I can grab, you know, a bait or two out of each one of them and just put in a little pack to go with me where I'm going. Um, I'll give you an example. All right, this right here is my kayak, my saltwater kayak. Uh, get this out of the way. This is my saltwater kayak uh, container. This is what I would take if I was going out on a kayak. Just something simple, not a lot with me, but yet enough to uh, enough to change if I want to change this is just some simple stuff here if you can see it got top water my DOAs um, power uh, spinnerbait uh, thing there uh, I've got a Mogan spoon let's see got the Mogan spoon which is kind of getting rusty now. Um, got some more Berkeley shrimp in here. Some circle hooks, some weights. Uh, got a bucktail down here. There's a smaller size bucktail. And then of course I'll take I'll take one of these right here with a few mix of uh, plastics to go on to go on these jig heads right here. This is another container that I usually use or take with me. I got some mirror lures in there, and my jig heads, a little bit larger spro bucktail. I got a uh, gotcha plug in here. Got one of those. I've caught fish with that. That's why I'm using that. That's why I got that color on there. Got another one of these, different color. And then just some different size uh, jig heads. And here is a flounder rig. I can take and put a jerk shad on, or a jerk bait, like a super fluke. I can take and put this on here. This is one that a guy gave me. The only thing I did is change this right here from a braid to and I put 40 pound mono on here and it come with a four alt worm uh, four alt worm hook on it you just put your your jerk your jerk bait on this or whatever you're choosing might be and then you just drag this across the bottom jerk it every little bit you know you just work it across the bottom because that that jerk bait's going to be working up here like this so that's, a, that's a, fl a good flounder rig. I hadn't really got to use it a whole lot yet. Uh, so I hadn't caught anything with it yet, but I do have faith that it will catch fish because I know it will catch fish. I've seen them. So uh, I just hadn't been lucky enough to catch anything with it yet. So guys, in other words, uh, you know, try to keep your tackle organized. I try to do that. So whenever I'm on the fly, Want to go somewhere i can just pick it up whatever i need i got compartments in the boat i can throw all these different baits in the in the in the boat so something special i want to i want to use uh 
in the kayak, you know, I can I can pack just take one of these and just pack one individual container of it. So and then of course I got my salt water and my worms and crawfish. But uh yeah guys if if it's, this is something that you would be interested in doing, it's very cheap. You can get these boxes for like I think I think there was two dollars and something I believe, like two sixty nine for one of these little containers. Like I said, I bought them at Walmart. Um, they, they snap together real well. Um, and you can, like I said, you can you can label them however you want to. I just use a black Sharpie. You can use, you know, like I said, whatever kind of labeling system you want. But uh, they stack really well. So they don't, they don't take up a lot of rooms. If it's, like I said, if this was something that you would do or, or not, um, if you got a better idea of doing it, you know, keeping all your plastic separated, let me know. So guys, like I said, I hope you got something out of this. I hope it was something that you can maybe use in the future for yourself. Um, if you did, if you would, please give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me if this is something that you would, you would incorporate or uh, I'm off in left field not knowing what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, oh guys, take care and uh, peace out.